There's breaking news this morning. Syracuse police are looking for a hit and run driver. Dispatchers confirm a two year old was struck by the car last night. They have been evaluated. They are going to be okay. This happened just before 10 last night at the intersection of Lodi Street and North McBride Street. Dispatchers tell us a black or dark colored Honda was seen leaving the area. Several fire companies came to a house fire in Van Buren overnight. Baldwinsville and four other departments responded to the home on Daywood Drive in Village Green just before 3 a.m. Deputies also responded. We're waiting to hear more about this fire. We're not aware of any injuries at this time. A Seneca Falls woman is facing charges after police say her two-year-old child fell from a second-story window. 32-year-old Jackie Mitson's been charged with endangering the welfare of a child. The two-year-old was taken to Strong Memorial Hospital and was treated for a concussion, but is expected to be okay. Mitson scheduled back in court August 23rd. Heads up for North Syracuse. This is a traffic alert for some people up there. The county DOT scheduled to do a paving project starting today along a piece of Thompson Road. Crews are setting up a work zone from East Taft Road to Smith Road. Traffic lanes will be maintained, but drivers need to watch their speed. The project is expected to be completed by the end of construction season.